Thank you. Can I ask a big favor before we begin? Everybody please move forward so that I can get closer to you. I like to feel close with people. <laughs> Thank you. Now, before we begin, a very quick question. How many of you here love to have a lot of fun at work? Nobody? And how many of you here actually like stress at work? No? Great, thank you. And how many of you here, no matter what I do today, you're not going to raise your hand? No? <laughs> okay, great, thank you. Now, let me introduce a little bit about me. My name is Kiri Chang. I come from KL. Now, one of the things that I love about training is to be with people. And I started this training in the training industry since 2008. I tell my process. Now, one of the things that I've realized in my career is that I've always been able to get amazing results. All my past bosses love me like nobody's business. All they want is keep up, and they keep asking me to stay in a company and to continue producing results for them. Now the thing is this, last time I used to dread work. How many of you don't like work? Okay, thank you for being honest. Yeah, because it's going to be more fun if you're more honest with each other. Thank you so much. Now, I used to dread work. I, I was so lazy to wake up in the morning, 7 a.m., take my shower, and then I have to drive to work. And the whole day, I'm running here and there, and then in front of my laptop, and that's it, my whole full day. And then I realized this. The more stressed out and the more agitated and the more demotivated I am to work, the more my result goes boom, 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 boom. And on top of it, the worst thing that I don't like to experience is this thing called office politics. How many of you know what office politics is about? Yeah? Yes? <laughs> Does it feel good experiencing office politics? No? 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 Uh, me too. Now, this is one of the reasons why I realized that, you know what, office politics is such a big problem for me. And the more office politics that happens in the organization, the more people are not having fun and they just refuse to actually work together to produce better results. Yeah? So now, Understanding office politics, understanding stress, understanding fun and productivity. There's a couple of things I'm going to share with you today within these two hours so that you can immediately go back and apply to your company. Is that good or good? Very good. Okay, let me have a gauge. You're working. You're working. Yes? You're working. You're studying. <laughs> great, great, great. Okay, now. <clears throat> Can you take out a piece of paper, please? Just to let you know, just to inform you, the type of talk that I do is slightly different. You will be doing a lot more work along with me. Now, that is to ensure that you are along with me. Okay? Cool? Okay, great. Just take out a piece of paper. If not, just take your iPhone or your mobile phone. Just type out the notes. The first thing is this. I want you to write out What does stress do to you? What does stress do to you, especially in office? I give you an example. I feel agitated every time there's an office politic when somebody backstab me. So I want you to write that down. Another thing is this. <laughs> I just hate those people who started backstabbing me. Yeah, all those are the experience, the stress, the, the whole entire politics that it does to you. So I want you to write that down. What does it do to you? And to your motivation, to your feelings. Okay, very quickly, 30 seconds. Just write everything down very quickly. <laughs> volunteer to just share okay you don't need to stand up just shout out what does it do to you tired thank you what else 
irritating. Yeah, I can absolutely relate to that. What else? Hello, this side. I feel disappointed. Disappointed. That's very, very true. I got a lot of disappointment before as well. Have you experienced my time working the two ladies behind? Yes? No motivation to work. That's great. Yeah, that's what it usually happens to me. Now, do you know that Stress can be positive and can be negative. Yes? Yes? My question is this, how come everybody started focusing on everything negative about stress? Shout out what comes up to your mind. How come you focus on negative part and not the positive part? Any answer? We sorry, can you stress give negative happens in negative situations? Could be true, could be true, thank you very much. Which is what a lot of us experience here. Yeah? It happens in a very, very negative manner, correct? What else besides oh please give him a hand? What else? Is there any other answer? Okay, so when it's stress, is something there. So, what do you call positive stress then? Not in the dictionary. <laughs> That's a very good one. Now, there is a scientific research that says this, you see. <laughs> when it's a negative stress, it's called the stress. When it's a positive stress, it's called you stress. Now, I personally like to call it. Call it what? Pressure. So what's the difference between pressure and stress? Those people, those of you on the move, you can also participate if you want to, yeah? <laughs> so what's the difference between pressure and stress? Any idea? No, okay. I'm going to do this. I'm going to give you one minute, oh sorry, 30 seconds for you to discuss in your group and come up with at least one answer. Okay, so this group is one group. This side is another group. Okay, I want you to interact with people talking to me back. That's what it's all about. It's two-way communication. Okay? Cool? Okay, 30 seconds begins now. We're going to start with this group first. What's the answer? Automatic pressure is somebody pushing you. Somebody pushing you. Give them a round of applause. What about this side? negative side, pressure is positive, very clever, after I put the list, then she said negative, positive, <laughs> and she added that positive, which is pressure, will push you forward, yeah, please give her a round of applause. Now, both of you had it very, very close, very, very close, now what's the big difference between, as if you find one word to label the difference between these two, what would it be? Huh? <laughs> 
In my training, I like to work with individuals as much as possible in a group. Okay, so if you want to start being able to embody the right attitude, I'm going to ask you to be honest with yourself at this moment and just write down what are the challenges that you personally face in adopting this attitude. Yeah, I give you a simple example. <clears throat> Positive thinking is one of the best ones that I like because it's everywhere. Now the thing is this, I've been doing this kind of training for so many years. I even flew all around just to be trained. Right? Now, doing the work that I do, I should be able, generally, I should be able to think positive on the instant, correct? Now, recently, how many months ago? Three, four months ago, right? Four months ago, there was an upset that happens in my organization. Yeah. Somebody said that I was very immature and I don't understand what business is about. And hence refused to let me go up to stage to present and said that I backstabbed her friend all the way from United States. Yeah. So I was thinking, what did I do? I don't recall saying anything about her friend from the United States. I don't even know what I did. Yeah? So now, being this kind of trainer, I should be instantly able to think, okay, like, it's fine, positive thinking, and all this kind of stuff. But you know what, to be honest, I was so pissed off at that current moment. I was so pissed off that I cannot tahan, I cried. Yeah, I cannot take it, I cried because I don't know what else to do. That's just four months back. Yeah, but the thing is this, there is a second part to positive thinking which I'm going to share with you after this. So I want you to write down what is it that is so difficult for you to embody the right attitude. Okay, it's a personal challenge, it's got nothing to do with everyone else or the society. Okay, take 30 seconds and write it down please, thank you. Whatever we share with each other today, you cannot share with someone else unless you ask for their permission. Okay, everything that I say, you can share with everyone. It's fine. Cool? Can we all have that agreement? Yes? Yes? Okay, thank you. So, what do you come up with? Yes? Hormones, <laughs> woman hormones. <laughs> Let me ask you this: How many women can relate during PMS time? Oh, it's so difficult. <laughs> no, I yes. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Please give her a hand. What else? Bottle up your feelings. Yeah. Thank you. Please give him a hand. What else? Someone from this side. Wait, Asa, I know you're very participative. Let me ask someone other than you, can I? And did you get what exercise we just did? No, right? You just hang on there for a while, okay? Uh, ladies? Communication problem. Uh, can you elaborate on that? Pardon? Huh? Oh, okay. Okay, so hard to communicate, that's why it's hard for you to adopt positive attitude. Okay, please give her a hand. Anyone wants to say something like, you know what, the society is not supportive of positive attitude? Anyone wants to say that? No? So it's all about you? So if you're not saying that it's an outside factor, you're saying it's about you. Do you understand me? Now, please ask me if you do not understand me, okay? Cool? 
Okay. Now, here's a couple of things about people not being able to adopt positive attitude. I had it as this two big category. Overnight, everything lost. 
it even lost my chances of flying overseas to study. Yeah, and I understand that because it's stressful for them not being able to provide us financially. And I grew up angry. I resent the people that sabotage the business. I hated a lot of things. Now, at the same time, my parents were stressed out. So I, I started working very hard. I worked part-time. I go into different companies to earn as much money as possible. But you know, you know what? After a full day of work, I'm tired. I went back home and I see my parents stressed out. And all they do is frown. What do you think I feel? I feel sad, right? It feels like no matter how hard I work, it's not good enough. Correct? Now, I've been through a lot of training programs myself because as a trainer, it's my commitment to myself that I constantly upgrade myself. So I've been through this program and then I went to this program for my name. The people there, the network is very different. It blew my mind tremendously. So what happens is this, I attended the program and I started hanging out with this group of people. Now at the beginning, I was still very angry because of a lot of suppressed anger and all the stuff from all these years, right? But as time passed, so many years now, you can ask my husband, you can ask my friend. One day, if you don't see me laughing or smiling, means something has went off big time somewhere. Yeah, now, it's not that because at the beginning, it's not that because my life has been sorted out, my parents is, for the first couple of years, they've still been recovering from their business, right? And I was also still in the state of recovery. Now, during that two, three years with them, life was so much easier. I hang out with them most of the time. After work, I go see them. I got no work, I go and see them. I've got free time, I call them to hang out with them. I'm always in their office for whatever reason. Yeah, and from there itself, slowly, slowly, slowly from a person, I become generally very happy and very contented with life. And I didn't know why it shifted until I started studying about this. Yeah. So now my question to you is this, do you already have people in your mind? No, before I go to this question, the friends that pulls me down, I'm not talking about my parents here, because I started hanging about with these friends that is supportive of me, the friends that pulls me down started falling apart. They just don't call me anymore, so I also don't call them anymore. And I completely just am able to be with the positive people that I want to be with. Yeah, sometimes it's a deliberate effort that I make to move away from certain people. Noted family, we cannot change. Yeah, but I'm going to share with you how we can convert other people after this as well. Okay, because I absolutely converted my parents. <laughs> now they are happier, they are smiling. Yeah. So, in your piece of paper right now, I want you to write down who are the people in specific that you feel has been pulling you down. Now, it's your own paper, it's got nothing to do with me. I, this is all because of awareness. Because once you begin your awareness, it's going to help create your life forward. Yeah, instead of just keep ignoring it or denying it or not wanting to address it. Yeah, just write down. After this, the best thing is write in a separate piece of paper. Right now, after that, you can tear out and throw away. Yeah, do you already have the people in your mind? Yes? Yeah. <laughs> I can see some faces here. Okay, great. So now with these people, <clears throat> are you gonna go up to them and say, hey, I gotta be your friend? <laughs> yeah, I don't want you to come into my life anymore. <laughs> are you gonna do that? I'm not asking you to do that, okay? <laughs> no, right? Okay then. My question to you is this now, just a, a very quick word yeah, because to move towards fun, you have to address the things that you're unhappy about. Now, the myth about positive thinking is this. People keep telling you, oh, all you need to do is positive thing, positive thing, positive thing, everything will work out, correct? 
Now, the secret behind this is this. As much as you want to be positive, if you don't address the negative part, you will never be able to shift easily. You will take a very, very, very long time. I speed up my process very fast by addressing, okay, these are all the negatives, I don't like it, I throw. Once I address it, it's easier for me to take and throw it away. Then it's easy for me to move to the positive. Get it? Yeah. So now, in that piece of paper that you're ready to throw with the person's name, right, I want you to write down every single thing that you, you feel about the person. If you hate a person, you write that, I hate you. If you want to curse, I uh, uh, okay, okay, please do curse. It's your secret paper, nobody else, okay? You just say, you know what, you freaking idiot. Do, 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 do. Write everything down. I'm going to give you one minute to do that. Okay, ready? Go. Now, just to pump you up a little bit, can everybody please leave your belongings, stand up and come forward? We're going to play a short game. You want to play also can come. The more people, the more fun. Come, come, come. At the side, come, come, come. You're going to play the game. Yeah, 
small again. Okay lah. I hope that's why so cheap. Never mind, you're both cheaper. <laughs> okay, now this is how the game is going to be played. I am going to be calling out a certain amount of money. Give, for example, 25 cents. Okay? So then, 25 cents is made out of how many people? Two ladies and one guy. Correct? Now, if I call 45 cents, <laughs> yeah, or it could be three guys, three ladies. Correct? Now, in this game, you are to participate 100%. Participate what? 100%, okay? <clears throat> Please make sure there's no violence in the room. That's about it that I'm going to ask from you. <laughs> Please make sure there's no violence. Okay? okay. So we are going to play a trial round to get you to have some feel about how this game works. Okay? Now, can I please have 25 cents? Okay, okay, okay. Oh no, this one don't need to move my... <laughs> Okay, now after this, once you are done, right, I want you to hold hand and raise up high. If not, I don't know who's done and who's not done. Okay? <laughs> I want 55 cents. 55 cents. Okay, one, two, three, four, fifty. Five cents. <laughs> okay? Uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 55. So this two lady, how are <laughs> Oh, okay, luckily practice now on it. <laughs> okay, now I want... Oh, okay, now I know my maximum 75 cents. Okay, I want... 35 cents. Yes? Please give her a hand. 
Now, but here's the thing, a simple game to bring out very simple behavior and mindset and your attitude to build a certain environment that is trusting, that is, you know, stress-free, where you have fun and pleasurable. The first thing is this. What do you do to create that kind of environment or to build trust with the group of people? In such a simple game, all you do is, I want to win! Kick all the guys aside. Gentlemen, sorry, yeah. <laughs> Just because ladies dominant, the game sometimes happen the other way around because men dominant. Yeah, you got to be more thoughtful. You gotta be more what? Thoughtful about what? About what? Men? <laughs> the men would love this. <laughs> believer of healthy competition yeah I'm a big believer of healthy competition but in most game any game that I play the first thing that comes into my mind that I make sure I deliberately take action towards it is that I ask what is the best way for me to create To create what? To create what? Win win. Now sometimes it's not because of what other people do that affects the, the people that we hang out with, that affects our stress and not uh, what unhappiness. It's because of certain things sometimes we do without noticing. Now I hold it that sometimes we just don't know what we do until something happens, correct? Everybody, I, I believe that a lot of people genuinely do not want to hurt other people, but sometimes we do it by accident. True? True? Now that's why we want to begin the process of being aware. Of being what? Of being what? Of being what? Aware. Now you got to support me by responding because I like to talk to people. I don't like to talk alone. Okay? <laughs> now it's easy to say. My question to you is this. How can you create that in your office environment and in your home for those of you who are not working? I'm going to give you another 30 seconds to discuss in your group. How do you create Actually, no, I'm not going to give you 30 seconds. I'm going to give two minutes, each person 30 seconds, to share how you are going to start creating a win-win scenario in your office or at work. Now, the purpose of you sharing is this. Once you share, you have other people listening, correct? Your subconscious mind will tell you this. Oh, yeah, I've told people before, if I don't follow right, I don't feel good. Yeah, that's why we call it declare and fulfill. Okay, it's all because of how our mind works. Understand? Okay, so two minutes, 30 seconds each person, share in your team how you're going to start creating that win-win at work or at home. People at the side, you can do that discussion as well. Two minutes, go. Group together for us.
any team require more time? Anyone require more time? Do you require more time? Do you require more time? Yes? Have you finished sharing? Not yet. Okay, I'm going to give you how many more people? Two more. One more minute, okay? One more minute, continue discussing. Stop. Now, can I have a sharing from that group? One sharing and one sharing from this group. Which group want to share first? What about you? Uh, you don't sympathize people, you empathize people. 
okay. you put yourself in people's shoes. And secondly, you need to respect them by listening to their views as well. So and thirdly, you have to cooperate. Teamwork is very important. So you make sure that you actually get everything done together. Okay, I think that's about it. Do you hear what she said? Yes, yeah, sir. Sure. Please give her a hand. Now, there's one thing that she mentioned that is very dear to my heart is this. Now, 
the twist to this game is this. You can revive your team member. Okay? So how you revive your team member? Once you you have gotten hit by the ball, you stand to the back. Okay, once you stand to the back, one of your team member got to go to the back. And then you got to do this. Sap, sap, sap. Tom, tom, tom. And then your team get revived. Thank <laughs> you. 